we're gonna do a 44. So every morning, when you when you're getting ready for the day, you're gonna send a 44 uh, that goes directly to your dispatcher, and the planners uh, also see that. So I go to my compose tab and I go and scroll, find my 44. And what's gonna ask for is the date and time that I'm gonna start. So if I'm starting up today, I'm gonna put 08. 1721 the time that I'm starting so if I got up at 7 and know that I'm going to be ready to go ready to roll at 8 o'clock I'm going to put 8 o'clock in there as for my available hours for the day I'm going to put 14 0 minutes my driver ID the hours I have on my 70 they want to know if your logbook is current yes and finally am I running on recap hours no I am not all right, once you get done with that, you're gonna drop your keyboard down, you're gonna hit send, hit yes, and that's gonna go automatically to your dispatcher and planner so they know exactly what you have for the day. All right, so we're gonna go over a quick confirmation example here. So I'm gonna show you how to get into the messaging. So whenever you need to, you can always click on the home button and that'll take you back to this screen here. So I wanna get into the messaging screen. You got your inbox, outbox, compose, kind of like email. All right, so I'm always gonna click on the load assignment. All right, load assignment will always give you the information, trip number, it's gonna give all your load information. Well, with the confirmation, some of the main things you wanna be aware of that it's gonna ask for is the trip number, the pickup date and time, which is right here. All right, you got your 08, 16, 21, 1901, and you got your delivery date and time. So that's some of the main information that you wanna write down uh, you can write down more for the load information if you want to, but for the actual confirmation itself, you can do a couple things. You can reply and find the, the macro that you want to use. So if I want to reply, all right, I'm going to change the macro here and I can do it that way. I can scroll and find my 15 or if I want to do it the other way and just um, start from the message here that we were in, I can just go to compose and I can find my 15. Click on confirmation going to ask yes or no I'm gonna reply yes this little tab button I like to use which sends you right over to the next box all right tab over I just like to use that tab button because it just makes it easier on myself all right put my pickup information as you can see I always put a zero in front of there because that's what it wants all right the pickup time 1901 I got my delivery date and time. All right. And if, if you want to, you can put your ETA time in there as well instead of the actual delivery date and time. And then all I do is drop my keyboard down, hit send, and I'm gonna hit yes. All right, so once you get your load assignment, you've confirmed your load, the next thing you wanna do is let us know that you're departing to go to the shipper. All right, and that is a macro three. All right, so you're gonna to go to the messaging tab again, go to compose, and you're gonna find your three. It says departing for shipper on trip number. All right, all it asks for is the trip number that you have, the trailer that you have, and the odometer reading on your truck. Just like that. Once you're done, you're gonna hit send, and that's gonna let dispatch team know that you are heading to go to the shipper. All right, so once you arrive at the shipper, the macro that you wanna to send to let us know that you've arrived is a macro four. So I'm gonna to go to my messaging tab again, go to the compose box, and I'm gonna find my four. All right. And it's gonna ask for my odometer reading, And it's gonna ask for the trip number for this load. Once I'm done with that, drop my keyboard down and I can hit send and that's just gonna automatically let dispatch know and plug and play into the system showing you that you've arrived at the shipper. Now, once that you've been loaded at the shipper, you're gonna go ahead and let us know with a macro five. All right, this is kind of a longer macro, but it's got all the information that we need uh, off of the bill of lading. I'm gonna go to my messaging tab again, go to compose, go to macro five. It's gonna ask you what trailer you dropped. It's gonna ask you are the tandem slid all the way to the back and have you verified that the pins are fully engaged. It's 
gonna ask you what trail you loaded. It's gonna ask you the bill lighting number. It's gonna ask you the amount of pieces. It's gonna ask the weight. And it's gonna ask you a seal number. Now I can scroll down or I can just hit the tab button. That's gonna drop me down to my next area here. It's gonna ask for the ETA date and time. Go ahead and put my ETA in. It's gonna ask for the trip number. And it's gonna ask for the odometer reading again. All right, once you fill that out, that's on, once you send it, it's gonna automatically tell us that you are loaded and leaving the shipper. So I can drop my keyboard down, hit send, and I'm good to go. Now, when you arrive at the destination, you're gonna to wanna to go back into your messaging box and you're gonna to wanna to send a six. And the six is an arrived at destination and waiting message. Very short, it's gonna ask you the trip number, And it's going to ask you for the estimated empty time. Now you're not always going to have that, so if you don't know for sure, you can put zeros in there. Or if you do think you have an idea of when you're going to be empty, you can go ahead and put that. It just kind of gives us an idea of when you're going to be empty. I can drop my keyboard down once I'm done with that, and I can hit send. Now, once you're finally empty, you're going to hit a 7, macro 7, which is going to let us know that you're empty now. So we're going to go to messaging, go to compose, find your 7, it's going to be empty at destination message. You're going to enter in your trip number. You're going to let us know what trail you dropped. They're going to let us know if the tannins have been slid, pins engaged. You're going to let us know what trailer you've picked up. Now, if it's a live unload, you can put the same trailer number. If it's a drop and hook and you've got a different trailer now, you can enter that in there. You're also gonna enter in your odometer reading again. And once you're done with that, you can drop your keyboard down, and you can hit send. Okay, once again, anytime you wanna to go to the home screen, you click the home button. What I'm gonna go over is an example of how to send in and get paid for detention, local pay, or anything like that. So we're gonna to go to the messaging tab, go to the compose box, and I'm gonna find my macro 12. The macro 12 pops up, it says pre-approved special pay. That's what you want to send in to get paid for detention or local pay. So if I'm looking to get paid for detention, I'm going to put a yes in the detention box. I'm going to go down to my trip number here. Enter my trip number, my location. I'm going to put my start time and stop time. And you should always put your full amount of hours. So if your appointment is eight o'clock and you get out of there at noon, ask from eight to noon and we will pay two out of the four hours there, but still ask for the full amount of time. Did I document times on the bills? Yes. Did you call the broker? No, it's not a broker load. Detention approved by. You can put your dispatcher's name or you can just put dispatch. Did you attach the, the scale ticket to the bill? If it's an IP load, you can put yes. In the comments section, just put the total amount of hours. So if I know I was there a total of four hours, I'm gonna put four hours. I drop my keyboard, and I'm gonna hit send.